All right, folks. So welcome back to the channel. Um, I have made some progress with this uh, All Star chassis and the D ninety build. So uh, let's get right into it. So the body is just sitting on here. Uh, I don't have it attached, but I did get the wheelbase sorted out, which was my main priority. So I sat down the other night. Uh, <laughs> it took me like five hours to cut all the links. Um, I didn't record any of it because it probably would have taken me seven hours if uh, I had been filming. So I'll just show you over it and what I did. Basically I just uh, chopped all the links on the bottom of the truck. So there's uh, four links front and back, took each link off, unscrewed one end and I took off 18mm from the back, yeah 18mm from the back and 12mm from the front which brought the wheels in close enough for me and I did also have to shorten the drive shafts. So once I had taken all four of the links off and disconnected the shocks, the actual just comes straight off. And uh, like I said, I took uh, 18 mil off the back links and 12 mil or 13 mil, can't remember now, off the front links and I brought them in. So the drive shafts come apart at this area here. This is like the sliding part. So once I slid it out. I just chopped what I needed off the front and rear because they were uh, too long because it shortened the links. So it did take a while. I had to take each one of the uh, links, take the end off it and tap. Once I had cut it, I had to tap new threads into it, which were M4. And I did have a, I have a cheap tap and die set which uh, yeah, it took a while, it, was, it just took my time on it, I didn't want to strip one of the links or strip the threads on it. So it all worked and yep, yeah, got the, the wheelbase down to the right size for the D90 body. And the body is an absolute perfect fit for the chassis, I didn't cut the ends of the chassis down at all, I just took the uh, bumper mount, mount out of the back. Um, I'll probably put back in again, but when I put the body on, it's actually touching the back of the chassis and the front of the chassis, which is what's holding it. So I couldn't ask for a perfect length, more perfect length for the actual chassis itself. Uh, so the next thing I need to do, which will probably be more difficult, is to figure out how to attach the body to the chassis. What I'm actually thinking of is putting a hinge at the back here, attaching the hinge to the inside of the body and then on the normal body posts here, putting magnets. So if I have two body posts sticking up here with magnets on the top, I can put two magnets on the inside of the bonnet or the hood. A hinge at the back, which means when I need to get inside the chain of battery, I can just pull the magnets off at the front and hinge it back. And um, yeah, that's I think that's the idea I'm going to go for. Uh, I do have an interior for this uh, Land Rover body, but it's not going to fit with the chassis. Uh, as you can see the gearbox on this thing sticks up really high. It's pretty much level with the body posts here and all this is right where my front seats go. This is my interior. Uh, the dashboard of the Land Rover is actually attached to the inside there. 
you can see the dashboard and the steering wheel is attached to the body but this part is separate and yeah it's basically needs to sit here but lower down probably about that height so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I need to fit the body and figure out how I'm gonna fit this this uh, around this gearbox I may need to you know cut the seats out and make myself some sort of platform because I'd like to try and keep the interior in it uh, yeah who knows I'll figure that bridge out I'll figure that out when I come to it I'll cross that bridge when I get to it alright so that's uh, a bit of an update uh, next step will be to get this thing running uh, receiver ESC battery and a steering servo and I think I'm gonna steal all the bits from my Maverick Scout that's my uh, Maverick Scout there it's uh, like a dedicated rock crawler as you uh, there's a couple of videos on this on my channel if you're interested but I very rarely use this truck anymore uh, so I'm going to steal the electronics out of it to get this thing running and then i would replace the electronics in the Maverick at a later date and there's a better look at the wheelbase now it's uh, pretty much spot on uh, I am go probably going to be changing the wheels on this these are the wheels from the blue FTX Outback so I just stole them just to get this thing uh, in a rolling state so I could figure out if my wheelbase was spot on or not so I think I'm going to go for smaller wheels I think these are 1.9's thinking about going for 1.5's uh, bring the wheel size down but I haven't decided yet there's so much choice when it comes to wheels I really haven't decided what I'm going for yet so I think I'm gonna uh, mount the body get all that sorted first and then I'll figure out what wheels I want for it I may even stay with these wheels I don't know okay well that's it guys hope you enjoyed this little update on this build and I'll catch you in the next one very soon Bye for now.